having some crossing successes on Wayne Howard in. Tech got Harris in. Tyler Moore. March 22nd, Wednesday, report cards go home. Nutrition fact for the day for Miss Teresa. One of the best healthy eating habits is to avoid shoes and drinks that have added sugar. One common thing that contains added sugar is soda and sports drinks. Substitute water to be healthier. March 27th, Mon Monday, March 31st, Friday, spring break, no school. April 3rd, Monday, staff pro development day. Students who need to work on their science projects should attend Science Fair Club and Mr. Smalls room. Wednesday. Concept schools math con will be held at our school on Saturday. Please come to support them if you can. Attention middle and high school students. Are you interested in attending the summer program that will give you opportunities to experience different industries, widen horizons, and expand your networks? Check school website under college tab. College fair is going to be April 11th and 13th. Attention high school students. Are you interested in the summer programs and internships in various fields such as engineering, science, business, and language? See Ms. Elite for further details. Happy birthday to Ms. Mouser and Ms. Tiki. The following field trips are coming up for high school. Monday, March 20th, 10th grade to IPY, 2nd through 6th period. Wednesday, March 22nd, 11th grade to ISU, whole day. Thursday, March 23rd, CYSP, 7th to 12th grade to Hanover, whole day. Tuesday, April 18th, 9th grade to University of ND, 3rd to 6th grade. High schoolers, people put trash on lockers every day. Mr. Courtney said to have spirit week next week, all locker tops must be clean on Friday, March 17th. Next week, the high school will be having a spirit week. It is $2 a day or $6 for the whole week. It is to help raise money for prom. Each day is a different day. Monday is Monday is Lazy Day. Sweats, hoodies, and t-shirts. No house shoes or open-toed shoes. Tuesday is Character Day. No masks or no hoods. Wednesday is Decade Day. Pick out your favorite decade from the 1960s to the 2010s. Thursday is Tourist Day. Shorts, sandals, and hats. And Friday is Dress Down Day. No ripped jeans, no profanity, or no inappropriate. Tickets for the junior senior prom will go on sale Tuesday, April 4th before school at lunch and after school in Mr. Brown's room. This year's theme is the night to remember. The dance will be held at the Hilton Hotel downtown from 7 to 11 on May 6th. If you buy tickets between April 4th and 7th, they will be $30 each. On April 10th to the 14th, they will be $35 each. And tickets will be sold at the door for $45. Now with my principal. Good morning, I am Mr. Nord. This is Mr. Session, the principal. I have the names of students who were caught doing good this week. The list is short. It's Shavante and Kennedy from the high school. Good job, guys. Also, reminder today that we have an early release and students are dismissed at 12 noon. Tomorrow, it's a big day. It's MathCon. All the concept schools Students who are competing in the math and competition will be here. So if you are representing our school, we are trusting that you will do your best. And good luck to you tomorrow. Next week, it's the last week before spring break. So make sure you rest well and get ready for the last stretch of the final quarter. Happy day of learning and have a great weekend. A line that is synonymous with the United States Constitution, but my generation doesn't care about the Constitution's words. We'd rather use the Constitution as a cover to hide our problems instead of fixing it. We need, what we really need to do is rip off that cover, tear it to sheds, and fix the problem. See, my generation has seen the dark side of life. With teen moms killing themselves because someone called them a hooker in the Facebook feed, to us having the power to practice the use of guns, knives, bombs, and grenades, and all the other things we protest in the palm of our hands. But with every dark side of life, there is yet a glimmer of light. Our generation has been in that glimmer of light. With the inauguration of the very first African-American president, to technological advances around the world. A world we were supposed to change. See, we were supposed to be the generation that saved the world, changed it all. But we didn't. We only destroyed it more. Millennials, it's time to wake up. Let our voices be heard and our change be felt. 
Let everyone know that we are the generation that will change the world. We will not let our problems fall to the next generation like dominoes. We will not fall. We are the new millennials.